everybody, welcome to Sports. I'm Megan Shepard. Members of the Bahamas Association of Athletic Associations meeting on Grand Bahama over the weekend. The Constitution Reform Committee was a part of the delegation. The purpose of the meeting? To discuss amendments to the Constitution. Kimberly Mullings has details. We want to have a unified and a cohesive um, federation and engaging Grand Bahama is a part of that. President Roseman Carey and other members of the B3As travel to Grand Bahama with their Constitution Reform Committee. The association has been mandated by the International Association of Athletics Federations to amend its constitution. We've had several meetings in Nassau, so we're now here to meet with our stakeholders here in Grand Bahama to, uh, for them to see the draft, to get their input, to get their ideas, to get their concerns, um, because the constitution, you know, will affect all of our member federation, and they're a part of, uh, of the, B the B3As. Kerry added that the B3As mandate is to speak with its constituents. It is necessary to include all members. The Grand Bahama is a vital part of our community, um, not just with the, the, um, the coaches, the, the athletes, um, what they produce. Um, in terms of, of athletic prowess, you know, a lot of the athletes from Grand Bahama, they're, all, they're on our Carifta team, they're on our um, Pan Am teams, they're on all of our national teams. So it's, it behooves us to come to Grand Bahama. There are three main areas of the Constitution that are being reviewed. The membership, who would, what would constitute membership into the, the, the B3As, um, then governance, um, the governance structure, and then of course the third one was um, regional associations. Kerry noted that the Constitution Reform Committee will meet again to discuss the recommendations coming out of Grand Bahama, followed by another meeting with the B3A stakeholders in the capital, inclusive of dialogue with Grand Bahama, and then a vote on the amendments will take place. Kimberly Mullings, ZNS Toll Sports. Now, Assistant Treasurer for the Grand Bahama Amateur Athletic Association and Council Member with the B3As, Ravano Ferguson, attended that meeting. He says he is pleased that stakeholders were on the island and they were given a voice. Certain amendments that uh, had to be addressed is in terms of how is it related to Grand Bahama as a, as a whole. And I think we are going through it uh, pretty carefully right now with these uh, the committee members and they're explaining it uh, more thoroughly uh, so all in all I mean it's just for them to come down and take time out with us to go through it is enough and not making a decision on their own is a plus so we just want to thank them for coming down for that and that's going to be for sports this evening